Hello 3GM, welcome to the second lesson of fractions. We're looking at lesson three and four. If you look closely at the diagram, there is a fraction. It says one fourth. Remember the top number is the numerator and it shows the number of equal parts of the whole. The bottom number is called the denominator and this shows how many equal parts the whole is divided into. So recalling yesterday's lesson, I wonder what three things you could remember. Try and jot them down and maybe discuss them with someone at home. The In Focus task shows a whole bar of chocolate. There's two children and the question is asking how much of the chocolate bar did the two children eat? Firstly, we can look at the whole chocolate bar. We can see there's five pieces all together. The boy says, let's share this chocolate bar. I will have a piece. The girl states, I will have two pieces. So if we add the one piece from the boy and the two pieces from the girl, we know one add two is equal to three. We can also put this into fraction form. So the amount would be three over five because there were five pieces to begin with. Now it's your turn. Read the questions carefully and have a go at answering them. Let's learn explains how to add these together. It says each piece is one fifth of the bar. If one child eats one fifth of the bar and the other child eats two fifths of the bar, together, child A and B eat three fifths of the chocolate bar. One fifth and two fifths is equal to three fifths. And you can show this as one fifth add two fifth is equal to three fifths. Now it's your turn. Part two asks you to add two fractions together. Two fifths add two fifths. Here is some guided practice for you. Remember when you are adding a fraction, you must add the numerators together. That is the top numbers. The denominators, the numbers at the bottom, remain the same. Try and have a go at all three of these. Good luck. The stem sentence states that when I add fractions together, the denominator of the fractions must stay the same. This is the bottom number, the amount as a whole. Now it's your turn to explain how you would work out the answer for two ninths add five ninths. You're working really hard at maths today. Well done, keep it up. Here are two worksheets from the workbook. Have a go and remember that the denominator always stays the same at the bottom. Good luck. <laughs> 